The voice of God, the shepherd of Hermas, similitudes, eighth similitude continued. Chapter 8 And they who gave in their branches half green and half withered are those who are immersed in business and do not cleave to the saints. For this reason, the one half of them is living and the other half is dead. Many accordingly who heard my commands repented and those at least who repented had their dwelling in the tower. But some of them at last fell away. These accordingly have not repentance for on account of their business they blasphemed the Lord and denied him. They therefore lost their lives through the wickedness which they committed, and many of them doubted. These still have repentance in their power, if they repent speedily and their abode will be in the tower. But if they are slower in repenting, they will dwell within the walls, and if they, if they do not repent, they too have lost their lives. And they who gave in their branches two-thirds withered and one-third green are those who have denied the Lord in various ways. Many, however, repented, but some of them hesitated and were in doubt. These then have repentance within their reach, if they repent quickly and do not remain in their pleasures. But if they abide in their deeds, these too work to themselves death. Chapter 9 And they who return their branches two-thirds withered and one-third green are those that were faithful indeed, but after acquiring wealth and becoming distinguished among the heathens, they clothed themselves with great pride and became lofty-minded and deserted the truth and did not cleave to the righteous but lived with it, the heathen and this way of life became more agreeable to them. They did not, however, depart from God but remained in the faith, although not working the works of faith. Many of them accordingly repented and their dwelling was in the tower. And others continued to live until the end with the heathen and being corrupted by their vain glories, departed from God serving the works and deeds of the heathen. These were reckoned with the heathen, but others of them hesitated, not hoping to be saved on account of the deeds which they had done, while others were in doubt and caused divisions among themselves. To those, therefore, who were in doubt on account of their deeds, repentance is still open, but their repentance ought to be speedy, that their dwelling may be in the tower. And to those who do not repent but abide in their pleasures, death is near. Chapter 10 And they who give in their branches green but have the tips withered and cracked, these were always good and faithful and distinguished before God, but they sinned a very little through indulging small desires and finding little faults with one another. But on hearing my words, and greater part of them quickly repented, and their dwelling was upon the tower. Yet some of them were in doubt, and certain of them who were in doubt were wrought greater dissension. Among these, therefore, is hope of repentance, because they were always good, and with difficulty will any one of them perish. And they who gave up their branches withered, but having a very small part green, are those who believed only, yet coming workly, working the works of iniquity. They never, however, departed from God, but gladly bore his name, and joyfully received his servants into their houses. Having accordingly heard of this repentance, they unhesitatingly repented and practiced all virtue and righteousness, and some of them even suffered being willingly put to death, knowing their deeds which they have done. Of all these, therefore, the dwelling shall be in the tower. Chapter 11 And after he had finished the explanations of all the branches, he said to me, Go and tell them to everyone, that they may repent, and they shall live unto God. Because the Lord, having had compassion on all men, has set me to give repentance, although some are not worthy of it on account of their works. But the Lord, being long-suffering, desires those who were called by his Son to be saved. And I said to him, Sir, I hope that all who have heard them will repent, for I am persuaded that each one, on coming to the knowledge of his own works and fearing the Lord, will repent. He answered me and said, All who with their whole heart shall purify themselves of their wickedness before enumerated and shall add no more to their sins shall receive healing from the Lord for their former transgressions. If they do not hesitate at these commandments and they will live unto God. But do you walk in my commandments and live? 
Having shown me these things and spoken all these words, he said to me, And the rest I will show you after a few days. 